Some people only do black and white images when color isn't working. Some people intentionally go out to shoot black and white images. And some people just want to know how they can take better black and white images. If you're any one of those people, you're in the right place. Now, these are not exhaustive or this is exactly what you have to do to take better black and white images. These are just ways that I've seen that's helped me take better black and white images. And hopefully it helps you too. Let's dive right into this one. The first thing you want to do is shoot for black and white. Go out with the intention of shooting black and white images. Now on a micro level, what that could look like is loading black and white film into your camera, setting your EVF, your camera settings to monochrome or black and white. And even on your phone, you can change your settings to monochrome and black and white. I found that in my experience, when you set your camera to specifically shoot in black and white images, not only do you see the world in a different way, you tend to take images in a different way. Understanding colors. Now this may sound counterintuitive because black and white is literally the absence of colors, but different colors look different in black and white. Now it's not, it's not just white and black, there's grays in the middle. There's a whole gray scale. Lighter colors come out lighter in black and white. Darker colors come out darker. There's some colors that just stay in the midtones. I'm gonna put a, a breakdown on the screen here for you to see how different colors come out in black and white. For me, I don't think it's necessarily a big deal to, to go out and look for colors when you're shooting black and white, but it's something I feel like we should understand when taking images that different colors come out differently when we shoot in black and white. Composition. As I said previously, when you see the world in black and white, you tend to shoot differently. And that also applies to how you compose your images. When you're composing subjects or composing an image for color, you're looking for how different colors in the scenes play together with each other. How is that blue going to relate to the yellow? Or if you see a blue wall, you're waiting for some of the yellows to come by so the, the contrasting complementary colors can play together. But the absence of that in black and white just makes you compose your images differently. You're not looking for how different colors play together. You're only looking for the composition of different things, different pieces within the image. And that overall is going to make your black and white images better, seeing the world differently, playing around different compositions, and just overall forgetting colors. How you see the world in black and white, how you compose your image comes down to two things in my opinion. The lighting, number one, that's available within the scene and the contrast levels you want to play with. The light that's available is going to affect the amount of contrast that you have in the image. And because, as I said, there's a lack of colors and how colors are going to play into the image, you can't depend on that. So you can only depend on the lighting within the image and depends on how you compose the image and the contrast levels that you choose to play around with is going to affect the way your black and white images come out. So when you're looking at a scene for black and white, you want to notice what the light is doing, how the light is hitting, how you're going to set up your camera in order to get the contrast level that you're looking for, and how you're going to play around with the composition and all these different things in order to get the image that you want. Please, please, please don't overdo it in post. Don't overcook your images. Don't push your images to the limits. If I can tell that you've done too much of the image, for me, it doesn't look good. Some people like it. Some people, it's their personal style. It is what it is, not my cup of tea. It may be your cup of tea, but I feel like if you're overdoing it in post, then you should try to do that better, a little bit better in camera. I'm not saying not to edit your images at all. I personally edit my images. What I'm saying is that you don't necessarily need to overcook it most of the time. Experiment, experiment, and then experiment some more. Black and white images are made for experimentation. When I say experimentation, you can use filters, red, orange, blue, yellow, different filters play around with the images and they do different things to different colors within the images in black and white, and they give you different looks. Shoot different types of films, shoot infrared film. Infrared film does something to the image that I don't quite understand. There's infrared filters that you can put on your digital lenses to get different looks. Play around with it, play around with shutter speed, see how different slow shutters affect the black and white images. Play around with textures, play around with 
flash play around with different things black and white has been around for so long there's so many different things that you can do with black and white images that you can't necessarily do with color and that brings me into my last point which is to have fun with it as i said black and white images have been around for hundreds of years in fact the, the original images were all black and white there's so many things you can do with black and white there's so much fun you can have with black and white even printing when it comes to printing there's so much you can do with your black and white. Do, you, do you print your images you should print your images especially black and white if you print your black and white images they look amazing if you have the right printer but again have fun with it take everything i've said into consideration take it with a grain of salt if you must but just shoot black and white and that's mostly because at the root of it all, black and white is better than color. There, I said it. You were thinking it. I was thinking it. I just have to say it out loud. Black and white is better than color. <laughs> I'm just playing. One is not better than the other. They both complement each other. Some scenes call for color. Some scenes call for black and white. I want to give a huge shout out to the photographers on threads. I made a post on threads asking for people's thoughts about ways to take better black and white images. And I got a lot of good conversation going on this particular topic. I'll put a link in the description right under the like button for you to check out that particular post and see what other photographers had to say on the topic and maybe even add your own thoughts to the particular issue. And while you're down there, make sure to leave a comment. Let me know if you like these type of videos. Let me know some different ways what you think people can do to take better black and white images until next time make sure you stay safe make sure you shoot some black and white and i'll catch you in the next one bye